today we are going to be learning some breathing exercises. So the first exercise that we're going to be looking at today involves you lying on the floor. So find a nice flat area and just lie on your back. Now what I'd like you to do just now is place your hands on your stomach like so. Okay, so now that you're lying on the ground and your hands are on your stomach, what we're going to do now is take a nice deep breath in into the diaphragm, just like we discussed in the previous video. At this point, we should feel our ribcage fanning out and we should also feel our abdomen wall getting more tense every time that we breathe in. Okay, so now that we have found our diaphragm, it's time to do the exercise. A good way to find and strengthen your diaphragm is to use a panting motion in your lungs. So just like you would pant after a long run, we're going to pant like that just now. Okay, so now that you have completed the panting motion, what we're going to move on to now is called square breathing. So, you probably have done this before. What we're going to do is we're going to breathe in for four and out for four, and then breathe in for six and out for six, and then we're gonna breathe in for eight and etc. This is going to help strengthen the control of releasing the air on the way out of your body. So for the next exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to grab just a normal chair. So now that we are standing over a chair and holding the seat, we're not going to be able to feel our abdomen. So you're going to have to work a little bit harder to feel it working. Again, we are going to use the panting sensation and then we are also going to be using our square breathing again. Brilliant guys. So that's it for today's video. Make sure that you are using these breathing exercises when working out your diaphragm just to make sure that we are strengthening it. So I'll see you in the next video and have a nice day. Bye bye.